I'm called Wilson Efokwa. I live in Boya. Next to me is my daughter. She's called uh, Wilson Malala. She's a poet and spoken word artist, a human rights defender, a whistleblower. <laughs> what brought me here today? When we were at the Addis Ababa airport with my family, Malala, my wife, and the other one, Luther King, we perpetrated from Seychelles Island. So we were at the Addis Ababa airport when I saw the man of God. He just passed by, then I greeted him. He asked me where we were going to. I said, uh, we've been repatriated. He said, um, I will support you people. Uh, he passed and we sat on the chair. I talked to my wife, I said, ah, See that famine, they say men of God. I said so because I did not have trust in what he said. But to my greatest surprise, when I was sleeping with my two children on my laps, somebody just touched me. When I got up, I saw an envelope. I opened it, it was $300. So before he left, he touched the head of my daughter, Malala, and said she will be a blessing to the family and the world. Then I realized that on top of that envelope, there was a living water that uh, he left for us. So we came back home. I started using the living water um, and my life changed. So when we came back home, my wife said we should not eat that money. We should invest it in business. We started a restaurant. It's a small one, but um, everybody is coming. Mola, expand this restaurant. It's too small for us. And when we cook food, uh, before you know it, it's finished. We have a lot of customers. I think it is because of the blessing of the man of God. <laughs> uh, he blessed my daughter. And um, I realized that she was very interested in poetry, watching news. So I developed the spirit in her. Because the man of God said she is a blessing. So when I realized it, she started following the footprint of that prophecy. When she was eight, she started going into competition. And even with people who are more than her in age, she will come before them. I mean, she will be in the first three positions. Yes, so from then, she has been invited to every occasion, here and there, to TV and radio programs. And um, she's been taking part in competitions. She's still in primary school, but they launched a competition for secondary school. She came third. Yes, um, today she's well known and she's been invited everywhere and she's a source of finance in the family. Whenever we are poor, we need money to eat, I just look for a situation where she'll go and talk somewhere and she talks and brings money. <laughs> So, uh, following that prophecy of the man of God, she's Apostle John Chi of the Act of God Covenant Ministry. She's a blessing to the family. I want to uh, say this without fear or favor. She has been taking part in many competitions and so many big people whom I did not expect to meet are meeting them because of her. All of these blessings, God did it to me through the man of God, Apostle John Chi, and the living water that he gave us. I want to testify it really changed the life of our family. Whenever we have problem, we just need to administer it, then the problem is over. The first that you can see here is the interview with CRTV Boya when she was invited because of what they heard about her to come and present her poem. The second picture that you see here is uh, doing an occasion in Moliko for human rights defenders. I told you people she's a human rights defender, she, so she prepared a very good poem uh, during that occasion. The third picture there is with the senator of Boya, Bela Moki Charles. And the other person beside her is the uh, commissioner for Make Bamenda and Boya Great Again, and the, a member of the Bilingualism Commission. And there you see her again being interviewed by so, so many journalists because of her performance. That's how they are always following her with cameras. Yes, what you can find down here is just one of our certificates. You know, the things are many until they cannot fill this board. They cannot, this board cannot contain them. So down here is one of her certificates. When she was eight, she took part in a poetry competition and came third. 
This is what I told you that she, she is still in primary school, but this poetry competition was meant for secondary school students. Because of her performance, she was considered. And during her presentation, everybody focused on her and not the first and second position. Usin Malala, I am a poet and spoken word artist under the mentorship of Stage Life and my parents. The man next to me is my father. Alors, la petite fille se présente comme Madela. Elle a dit que l'homme qui est tout près de c'est son père. Sous le man... Elle est une poète également sous le mentorship de son père. I want to thank God for his grace upon my life. I want to say a poem. The title of my presentation is Peace Ambassador. Peace Ambassador. Be a peace ambassador. Peace is to learn how to live together in harmony and love. Be a peace ambassador. From the peak of Mount Fako to the grassland of Abakwa. From the hills of Lebialem to the fall of Mentum. Be a peace ambassador. Peace remains a fundamental issue to the restive northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. Shame on you, you and you. Keep away your ego so that heaven will write your name. Be a peace ambassador. <laughs> Our parents pulled the trigger, but we suffered the most. We are at the far front. We are raped, kidnapped, and slaughtered. Be a peace ambassador. Nothing else can destroy youths like war or conflict. Be a peace ambassador. Peace, security, and human rights must be our watchword. If we have peace, we can enjoy freedom, development, and democracy. Be a peace ambassador. As one time president of America, Truman says, if we do not want to die together in war, we must learn to live together in peace. Be a peace ambassador. Peace is a process. It takes you, 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 and I. Be a peace ambassador. This message is in support of all institutions clamoring for peace and justice to reign in the restive northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon and the world at large. Be a peace ambassador. Thank you. May God bless you. Well done. Are you sitting down and celebrating? My advice to other little ones out there is that they should start to speak out for peace so that God Almighty will bless them. I just want to thank God for the word of prophecy and the living water, the one that Apostle John Chi gave us that has been working in our life. And I also want to apologize to the man of God for the utterances which I used I was very surprised because I realized that God is using him to bless us. Thank you. Um, the other advice I want to say, um, the blessings of God does not have barrier. You know, no matter where you meet the man of God, look at where I met him, but the hand of God was working in my life through him. Yes, so um, I want to thank him for all what he has done in my life and the life of my family. Et aussi notre frère dit de ne jamais douter de la prophétie qui vous serait donnée par un homme de Dieu, surtout quand ça vient de Dieu, il faut toujours y croire qu'il a douté auparavant mais à la fin il a vu tout ce que l'homme de Dieu avait dit s'est réalisé dans la vie et dans la vie de sa fille. Alors il remercie infiniment le serviteur de Dieu.